What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Amber here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you guys can see, I ended up making my walk over like I said I would. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, as we have a fight against... Um, what's his face? Uh, Guzma. But let's go ahead, jump in to a quick team recap. Um... Because we can't fight Nanu unless I go train in between, and that'll be... It'd be a weird episode structure, but it might actually have to happen that way, considering that Nanu is basically right after this. Um, we have UnQU, the liquid oozing Decidueye with Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Cotton Guard, and Dis Discharge. We got Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. They both have... Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Uh, we have Drake with Treak Pouch Ability, Amulet Coin Holding, Sparkly Aria, Psychic Yawn, and Psy Strike. We have Fitta, because it's going to fit a sweep with Spotum Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. We got Frisk, the Nine Tails with the Beast Boost, the new Pokemon on the squad with Lava Plume, Earth, or Earth Power. Well, I wish. Lava Plume, Earth Flamethrower, Fusion Flare, Teeter Dance. And lastly, we got Tube, the Tyranitar Tube, with Ice Punch. Sacred Sword, Night Days, and Cross Poison. This team is kind of looking a little bit on the rougher side, and I completely understand that. Um, we are finally starting to give way, I guess, is kind of how it feels. Like, it, it was weird doing a team recap without Machamp, without our daddy, the Machamp. It was definitely very weird, but it had to happen. Unfortunately, daddy did end up dying last episode. You guys didn't check it out. You can see how it happened. Um, don't be a mega. Okay, good. I just was like, that's how we're gonna start this episode. Um, it, even though that actually is not a bad way to start, because if you look at it, ooh, ooh, okay then, maybe it isn't the best way. Being a psychic, a oh, painful bunker. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Keep that up. Keep that up. We want those. That kind of stuff is what we want. Um. Uh, but no, personally, I have no idea kind of how we're going to go about it or what we want to do to go about it. Because, uh, like, this fight is not going to be easy. My brain really wants to go into uh, Ninetales, kind of see what's up with Ninetales. Um, see what I can teach Ninetales. Hopefully I can get, it, like, some special moves for a little bit more coverage because that's one problem Ninetales has. It's Ninetales ain't going to learn any moves. It's literally, we're going to have to hope for TMs to be kind of beneficial, but... The plausibility of the beneficiality of the TMs are very low here. Um, especially when we need special moves. Like, Mega Drain, can't learn that. But, yeah, because look at that. We have a lot of status moves. Wow, okay. And Round, which Round does absolutely nothing for us. It doesn't give us any coverage. Oof. Ooh, that's really bad. If Round is the best TM... Ooh. Yikers! Round was the best TM that we could give that thing. Ah, so I basically, and especially in a spot where we are going against water types, it's definitely not a spot that we want to be using a fire type with only fire type moves. Savali so flying. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess they're basically they're guaranteed normal every time, but or theoretically they're guaranteed to be normal every time. Um, as it said, there was no effect, so yes. Ooh! Grassy terrain! Let's go! Uh, using a move that buffs up the power of our grass side move that we just used. Makes us do over a half. We will take that. It's very appreciated that that happens. And we end up Okoing. Or, well, not Okoing. Steamroller. Wait, that's a bug type move. Oh! It's Rototiller that I'm thinking of. Rototiller boosts the power of grass types. I was like, wait, why didn't that work? It's because it's the wrong move. Makes sense now. Scrafty. Scrafty's a little bit of an issue. I'm um, not even going to lie. I can't even joke around about it. But we got Fitta. And Fitta will take this out. Like I said, Fitta Fitta sweeps. Can't even lie. Fitta is just the mon that you, like, you basically, you want this mon to be able to take it. Kind of into the limelight and show everybody and be like, hey guys, this is my best Pokemon, my favorite Pokemon, and here's what it does. As Chip Away is going to do absolutely nada by Moonblast. 
Uh, I'm actually really nervous, though, for our next opponent. Uh, I've, like... Dude, my system is so... I, I think I talked about this. It's been this long. Um, between. It's not even been a long time since recording sessions. It's been probably, like, a couple days. But my system's still backed up. And I need to figure out a way to make that not be the case. Because... Yeah, it's an issue. For sure. Because... If I'm unable to release waste and I'm eating more, uh, or eating my normal amount, then I can't. It's not good. But I made dinner today. And today as in, well, today I'm recording it. Because I'm kind of surprised I'm recording it at, like, 11 o'clock at night. Because why not? Um, expert belt. Let's go ahead and give that to Frisk to kind of guarantee being fine. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, so I made a eggplant lasagna with, um, garlic bread and a Capri salad. Of course, uh, it was good. Uh, I, I did, uh, a little bit of overcooking of the eggplant, so that wasn't the greatest, but, um, definitely something I can work on and get better, because, you know, I, I definitely do believe that getting better in that department is just gonna help in so many ways. Um, and I'm just thankful that I get to get the opportunity to learn and save money by learning how to cook because, you know, it's a very valuable skill to have and the fact that everybody wants to teach, like that my mom and like everybody teaches me and shows me these things, it's always a good thing. And it's, <clears throat> it's nice because I'll be able to, wow, Dragon Rage, we love it. I'll be able to Be impressing without having to go out as well. Um, nice. Okay. I believe. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember this. Because I don't really care about the fights in here. Let's go! I remember. Dude, if I ever, if somebody ever challenges me in a versus to this game, good luck. No, I'm joking. I'd fail. We all know how I am in a versus. I'm not a versus champion. I'm not a versus pro. I'm a cage lock pro. Sorry. A Aaron gets the, the terrible end of the stick there because he has to deal with like, strategic, or the strategist that is John. Um, whereas <laughs> Beegers gets to you know, deal with John Luck aspect way more. It's kind of funny, right? Because technically speaking, Aaron definitely has the harder of the two series. Like, Beegers, yes, he has a difficult series, right? But, and Beegers is an amazing Pokemon player. But, it's just funny because I'm not very speedy when it comes to Pokemon games. As you guys saw from Month Lock, speed is not my assets. Uh, or it's not one of my strong suits. Um, it's realistically the thing that gets me the most is strategy and logic and thinking. Like, I am somebody who can go into deep thought rather than go, 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 go. It is so much easier for me to be like, deep thoughts and everything else. And, and you can see that even in these episodes, I'm assuming. Like, ooh, I remember this music. Okay, but you can see that within these episodes where, like, I kind of deep dive and I'm like what can I do and how can I manipulate this situation for my benefit kind of a thing um but we got a tool okay sort of this eye that's good it'll hit us a little bit harder but that's fine we got fusion player I wish we had the choice specs that would be very beneficial right now but let's go ahead and fusion flare the crap out of this thing oh my god What a start. Oh. My. Why did that actually do nothing, though? I'm going to go to Drake, then. That's what I have to do, right? Uh. Well, okay, wait. I could. 
Yeah, here's me going into strategist mode. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Go into Drake because Razor Shell can hurt way more. No pursuit. We're fine. What a start. This is why I was worried for this fight, but uh, Razor Shell should do like 28 points of damage. Let's go! John Colombo rolls, but my defense fell. Bruh. See, I, so this is why I'm good at cage lock because I can literally be like, okay, this does this exact amount of damage. That was not just a guess. I literally calculated that in my head. So that is why Aaron definitely has the tougher challenge. <laughs> Ooh, sucker. Oh, shit. Bruh, why is Team Skull just killing every single Pokemon of mine? I swear. So you've got Ra oh my god, that's actually a tough move. So you got Razor Shell, um, Sucker Punch. So I know, cause that straight up killed me from full. Ooh, I'm gonna go into Tyranitar Tube. I have to, and I'm gonna Ice Punch. I don't like this play, but it's a play I have to make, unfortunately, as. This is just starting to hit me like a truck right now. That does nothing. Ice Punch should do a considerable amount of damage, if not kill from this range. Wow. And you have rough skin. Of course you do. Um, well, you sucker punched while I was on the field, so I will go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and night days. It won't hit you. Razor Shell better not kill. Thank goodness. Oh, but you're lowered my defense, so now it would. Oh, this is a fight. Okay, this is going to be a good fight. You know what? I take good fights because that makes the uh, episodes a lot more entertaining. It's got a lot more of an entertainment value when you're like, oh, God, what could happen? Um, I mean, Kuzma last time took the entirety of an episode, so, like, I'm not surprised that he's causing issues again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Bone Rush is just... It's more of a toss-up move, and it's non-stab, but it doesn't really matter considering that literally my attack is like triple my special attack. So, Unkyu goes up to 48, and we're going to send in a Shuckle. Okay. Shuckle's a little bit of a butt nugget. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Shuckle, not necessarily the one I wanted to see. But I am going to go into Fitta. Yeah, not, not the Mon I wanted to see at all. Um, this is a really tough Mon to combat. Um, in general, though, like, it's bulky. It can set up. If it does set up, it becomes even more of an issue. Like, this is not, this is, like, so not a Mon I want to see. Oh, my God. Yeah, and that's, that's literally, oh, we got, oh, no, you just trapped me in. Look, you don't do any damage, no matter what, so. It, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's more along the lines of, oh, that kind of sucks. You have a super effective move. But it also is fine that you have a super effective move because that means I don't have to worry about, like, you toxicking Anchor Shot Toxic Strat. Like, bro, that would be freaking... An <laughs> that would be so broken, though. Anchor Shot Toxic, uh, especially on uh, Shuckle where you can heal and stuff. Like, oh, my God, I would literally be upset. I'd be mad upset if that were the case, but yeah, luckily it is not the case. We can continue Discharge. Hopefully get a pair, because it's like 30%, but you know, we're zero for four. Or we're about to be zero for four. Uh, yep, naturally. I mean, again, it doesn't really, a lot of you guys are probably like, why are you wanting that? It's a, literally a shuckle. It's going to do absolutely nothing. You're not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. And to that, I say, you're right. But, you know, para hacks is a really good hacks. So, took care of the shuckle. Shuckle's down. And, oh, no. 
We always have massive troubles. It's 11-11 for me. Let me wake you, Wish. Let's not lose a wand to this wall rain, please. That's all I ask. Because <laughs> our team is not set up for this. <laughs> not set up at all for this wall rain. And it could... <laughs> wall rain could end another one. <laughs> I'm just, it's too funny at this point that wall rain is just my eternal enemy when it's a going when I'm going against it. It's called a nightmare mon for a reason. Um Dang, yeah. This could be it. Aquatel um Aquatel missed. <laughs> so much for being super effective. Aquatel missed again, though. Okay. You know what? The uh, hacks came into our favor. Maybe the 11-11 wish worked when you're actually wishing for something reasonable and not wishing for somebody to uh, do unspeakable things. Anyway. um, We should... Oh, my gosh. The wall we live on one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's going to get quoted. I don't know. Like... Once, once there, there's going to be an out of context me account. I feel like that would be an account that just thrives because I'm so like, it's, I'm just genuinely, it's hilarious watching me out of context. Um, like if you don't have the context around the things and like, uh, like a random thing is posted, it's like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of random. No crits. Good. No crits. And we good. Wall rain's gone. It didn't take a Pokemon. Our 11, 11 wish works. So kids. 11, 11 a.m. Make a wish. It's always a good thing. Uh, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it works like 80% of the time. As long as you wish for something realistic. Fiddle wants to learn Fleur Cannon. Never a bad thing, except for the fact that it does lower our special attack, so we're not going to do it. Um, Moon Blast we have already. Mudsdale is the next Pokemon, and that we are going to go ahead and go to UnQU for. We should be in the clear on that Mon, but it's still a little bit of a rough spot, rough patch I don't really want to mess with. Um, I can't believe I have to do another layout change in episode 31. Um, but Giga Drain, again, it should be fine. You're not a physical wall. You're a physical wall, not a special wall. So that will help me. Icy Wind, that won't do anything. That won't do anything. Like 20, 30, 48 points of damage. 58 points of damage. Uh, I was about to start at 48. Um, let's see. I'm going to get drain again. That should heal me up entire. Ooh, you have air slash too. Dude, if these were actually physical moves, hello. If these were actually physical, I would be in trouble. But luckily, these are not physical. They're special grass move or special things that I'm weak to. Um, not physical. Not Brave Bird and such. Clef Key is the final. Should be the final. No, it's not the final. Um, okay, we're going to go into Frisk. Frisk is going to come out. Frisk is going to heal. And scout. Because we're going to heal and scout. And watch it all out. And heal and scout. And watch it out. We're going to look for your roof. And see what we can to combat it. That was terrible. But whatever. Dang, again, another episode that's literally just a big major battle. I mean, it makes sense, but Throat Chapu is going to do uh, a little bit over 39, or a little bit, that's actually almost, that is 39. John, don't correct yourself when you're right. Uh, Fusion Player, please help. You are a cleft key, so I don't assume it will, but I think it'll do at least 80%. Okay, it's 75. Um... Again, naturally a little bit surprised that I'm fusion or Frisk is not doing as much damage as I would have assumed Frisk would do. Um, so we have options between F Gen 3 and 4. Base boost! Okay, so now we're at plus 1. And Macargo is the final Mon, naturally. A Mon that literally would get... Freaking destroyed by Drake. What is say? We're gonna go into Fitta. Um, if Fitta has a or if uh Mercargo has eruption and it goes for it on my heel turn, I honestly don't know how 
I realistically could or would feel about that. Because um, under our option, as 150 base power and will hurt like a truck, and we are definitely not faster than this lucky. Oh boy. Ooh. Lucky Chance, gonna, he's going to go for it again, which is fine, as we are going to go ahead and still not even Oko this thing. But at least you can't Eruption now if you have it. <clears throat> you just go for Lucky Chance, so we're good. So, those are all positives that just happened. And we'll take those. And, yeah, I mean, realistically exactly kind of what we anticipated unfortunately we did have another mon die which is not fun especially when all these newer mons are dying like that that be, that was the second oldest mon on the team like I don't joke about this and I don't care about this and that's because it's true though like this game has a ramping point and we have hit it. There's nothing else that I can even say or do to be like, oh, we're definitely not at the ramping point. We are definitely at the ramp point. We've been there as of, you know, the fight with the Guzma the first time. And, you know, it's just, it's gonna get even crazier. It's gonna ramp even more. It's not out of the ordinary now for us to be losing Mons constantly. As much as I would love to believe that it would be out of the ordinary, it's just, it's sadly not. Um, and with it not being the case, and with us being more and more likely to lose Mons, it is a, it's a scary fate. It's not something that, of course, most people want to have happen, or um, are like, oh, well, if it happens, it's okay. It's like, no, you don't want to lose Mons, ever. Um, but yeah, we just talk to Nanu, and then we fly to Tapu Village. We pick our Pokemon from either Gen 3 or 4, um... I'm thinking this is actually a big replacement. This is a big th person, team member to think about, considering that we don't get any encounters for a long while. So this is going to be a member that's going to be on the team. And this member is automatically going to be part of the 50s club because Nanu is level 50. Um, he's going to have an ace of 51. So his he's going to have like 50s across the board or 49s across the board and a 51. So... We're going to train our team up to level 50 before his fight. Um, and, yeah, so whatever, whoever's on the team now, congratulations on being on the 50 club. Um, but the fact that the level 50 club is currently existent is kind of proof among the matter that, like, And again, it's going to continue to just ramp harder. And it's going to ramp hard out. Um, but yeah, so now we can go ahead and fly. It tells you that you can go to the spot down there. We're going to go ahead and fly to the Tapu Village. Considering we don't need to be... I love the, the team school music. I'm not even going to lie. Like, the music in there is just phenomenal. But anyway, yeah, this is a great place to leave off the episode. But we got to pick who's going to be on the team and replace Latios. Or Latios, rather, not Latios. We got a few options here. Jeez. Yeah, things are increasing. That's one. Yeah, since we got to the... After the fifth trial, we've lost four different mons. After the fifth trial, like... It's definitely getting more real. So, we have... Like, what do we need for team synergy here? Sophie might not be bad, but has a terrible moveset. Tinwala wouldn't be bad. I actually might, <clears throat> might go with that. Maybug is a grass water that gives us a fire water grass core, but 
gives us a second grass type on top of that. Um, but we already have a dark type. Um, what does Huntail have as a moveset? It's got Impish, Early Bird ability with a terrible moveset. Okay, so I actually... I do think I have to I still have to check this one or else I would have already picked it. Um I do and think that uh we have access to a stone. It's got a good move set. Low tad. Save the bed bugs. Um and while we're in the PC, because I'm gonna have to rush to the bathroom after that end of this recording. While we're in the PC, let's go ahead and put the Mega T Ranatar. In the box. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're 20 away from monetization. I appreciate every single one of you helping out this channel and doing everything that you do. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.